but it shocked me and I was like, dang, because we losing so yeah. many people right mm-hmm. now to the industry over so much bull. It's like, right. whether they going to jail, whether they dying, it's just like every other day we're hearing about something tragic in our culture. One of the biggest obstacles artists face in the music game is access. Getting access to the people that can make it happen or access to the information and resources you need to get to the next level. That's the key. That's why you need two of the biggest in the game on your side. Introducing J.R. McKee. Boom Man, welcome to the real industrial plug. You heard me? I want to uh, touch on something, but I, I, I also want to be respectful because I don't know um, um, the ins and outs. But I, the last time I recall hearing your name in the news, it was over something tragic, mm-hmm. over something that happened mm-hmm. on the expressway. About that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't know the details because I don't get into people business. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's something that was on my mind. And, and, and I wanted to ask you, like, did you ever find out, you know what I'm saying, what that came about? Did that, you know... How did that, is that something sensitive or something? Um, no, it, it ain't sensitive. It's just, man, it's, to me, I just look at it as, man, that come with being black, bro. It mm. was a random situation? It, it, even if it's random or if it ain't random, it just come with being, you know, when your skin is color, bro, and you like riding in a, you riding in a car or a certain car or whatever, right. and you, you got a certain jury on or whatever. Right. If they know you or don't know you, they want it. They want it. And wow. so it's almost like I don't know what the situation was, but I got like I said, it just, you know, you see a young man in the car with jury, you, you know, in the Bentley truck. You don't know and the city on fire right now. At right. The time. Yeah, it's on fire. So it's like it was just a perfect storm. Actually, it was raining a little bit too. So yeah. it was just a perfect storm for some bullshit. But um, you Thank God you made it out. No, of that and, that, for and sure. that's and that's and that's what we great. That's what we grateful for because you know at that time I didn't even have a. Uh, I don't think I had a connection to you, mm-hmm. till till I could reach out or just you know what I'm saying, you know just say man I'm happy. You know what I'm saying everything went okay because mm-hmm. life is short and like I said I wouldn't even probably be in this position, for if it wasn't no, for, 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 sure. for you. You know what I'm saying like yeah. in a in a in another type of way. Yeah. But um. It's it's crazy because I didn't understand. I I just kind of like, dang, I'm just glad he, you know what I'm saying? He's good. He was able to even speak about it, but it shocked me. And I was like, dang, because we losing so many people right Mm -hmm. now to the industry over so much bull. It's like, whether they going to jail, whether they dying, it's just like every other day we're hearing about something tragic in our culture and in, in, in our city and in our city so shock you, again shot like yeah I, like that's that's, see, that's insane. what i'm saying like when, it's insane I, inside and when like I, I said just come with yeah i just when i when i saw it my first thought was like who would go after saha like this is the yeah, greatest yeah, dude right. like you know what yeah, i mean right. so love to everybody right. so i'm like this, it didn't even make sense but then i seen shocker i'm like come on like it's it, it ain't it, making sense it don't that's what i said it don't it's the plight yeah. it don't matter you know what i'm saying <clears> because <throat> they gonna feel like see to me, it come with the street thing. Like in our culture, you can't be a snitch, right? Mm-hmm. So that right there alone make you free game for every yeah. street activity out there. Cause they feel like right. if I do something, that's the code. You you, you can't, can't tell them. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you automatically a target versus you know white person. They be like, man, the white person might tell the police on us, right? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's like in so many words, it's like that loyalty <laughs> to your neighborhood makes you involved. Yeah. By all means. Right. You know what I mean? Because you don't even, and then it's like, if you do tell or say something to the police, you, now you ridiculed by your whole neighborhood. Right. And then if you get, if you have to go to jail, now they want to see your paper. Now that's they that's, see even, your pay- that's right. even worse. I get it. I get <laughs> it's it. It's like, I get it. So, 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 so I, I, think, I, think, I think the new generation, though, they, they switching up on that because it's a cost six nine. They, uh, listen, man. That's an interesting it. situation, bro, because like people got to, like I don't condone what bro did because you know, you know that's his situation. But I always was thought like I was in that same situation. Mm, it's right. like you young as hell. You leave your mama house. 
You go down the street, you're hungry. Cause you know, your mama probably cooked you something. Now you're at your mama house. Right. So these niggas on the corner getting a little money, they buy you a piece of pizza, right. get you some bean, beef patties and shit. You like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Now you got down, you see nigga, okay, give me one of them. Okay, boom, 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 they give you one of these. And now you in great shit, now you, now you can't yeah. go nowhere. Damn. Yeah, cause, cause you, you done seen too now. much. You yeah. tired, you tied, tied in. in. Now they moving you how you want to move. So it's <laughs> like, you think you made 50 bands this show, nigga, you made 10 bands. It's yeah. like now you like damn that that goddamn hot dog bro bought me got a what one word it, 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 it was an expensive ass hot dog <laughs> you know what I'm saying you never know that bro that's why your parents be like man don't take that for strangers so it's like man that's a real thing you'll be so deep in with some nigga when niggas just feel like you obligated to the crew is bigger than you right yeah so you got to start giving this and doing it then you like dang shit I'm getting older. How right. do I get out of this? And it's like, yeah, okay, well, let me call some dudes right. to get back at these niggas. But the dudes you would have called is the dudes who you who the doing it to you. Dang. So yeah. now you just stuck. Then you're like, damn, how I get out of this shit? Now they like, okay, Rico, boom. That was they used so to tell really me. Really, they taking the prison life and they just bring it to the streets. Man, my OG used to tell me the nigga who take the clothes to the cleaners get ten years. Mm. The niggas who wash the cars get ten years. So if you gonna come over here. Kicking it with us, just know. What yeah. they come with? What they come with? So yeah, it's like wow. a lot of and times. It's all or nothing. Yeah, so it's like, that's yeah. the, like I said, that's the plight of being a hip hop artist or a rap artist or, yeah. you know what I mean? Just coming out of our neighborhood is way different. It's yeah. way different. You gotta, you gotta survive the neighborhood first. That's why I wasn't so, I was pressed on being an artist, but I had kind of got satisfied a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you was like, yeah, I'm, I'm in, I ain't even got to be y'all. You don't got to deal with the yeah, bullshit. Like, you can still make your money and live your life yeah, and be happy yeah. and not deal with the drama of being in the in the forefront. Bro, because niggas ain't niggas going to come take you. Yeah, yeah and that's, it, I was just I, about I, to I, ask you, like, how hard was it to make the decision to focus on writing over putting out your music? Well, I was in a, you know I me, mean? I was in a legal kind of battle. So I, that was the real reason I couldn't put out my music like I wanted. Got you. Got and it you. was like the transition of streaming from mixtapes to streaming. It was like yeah. a, a weird area. But my my situation is mainly just legal battles and shit yeah. over. Yeah. You yeah. know, they they saying though, man. They saying a lot of the situations now, people either dying, going to jail, or turning to God if they ain't making it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, it's 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 crazy. So you know, you just gotta it, like that's what I said. That's why hip hop artists are special. Like when you get that opportunity to make money and be in that position, but you got like you man, I don't decisions. get for, ain't that much lean or <laughs> perks or weed I can smoke for me not to have an armed security guard or a police officer around me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like if yeah. you give me a hundred bands and it's a what a certain a, what a Three hour occasion, I just gotta go get gun, man. I'm cleaner than a whistle. Yeah. Yeah. They get this more, you know what I mean? I'm right. coming back. Yeah. So it's like, but dudes feel like, man, I can't have that type of security. I gotta have my partners with me. It's like, nah, your partners supposed to be enjoying it. Yeah. Right. They're not supposed to be Yo, looking around on, on security on it's like, bro, get you a lady, get some, get some drinks. So yeah. it was this artist I was about to sign. I was down in um Houston with him. Uh -huh. It had him in the studio and stuff. So I, I took I took him out that night, right? Him and his friends. And I'm talking to his friends, and I'm like, I'm like, what's good? Y'all want to drink? They was like, man, we can't even do it like that. I'm like, what y'all, what y'all talking about? They was like, man, we can't afford to have fun. This is her day words. We can't mm -hmm. afford to have fun. Fuck you, man. You can't afford to have fun. You know, anything could go down. I'm like, bro, y'all just need security. Like, <laughs> how, why, why are you even out here if not to have fun? They were like, you know, we gotta watch his back. I'm like, bro, it's called security. Right. We're gonna get y'all some security yeah. Yeah. so y'all can enjoy yourselves, man. Yeah, that's what it be. Yeah. It just yeah. so it's just like, bro, we that's that's the thing where I feel like the biggest, my biggest argument used to be with record labels. They'd be like, man, well, how come you can't go down to Atlanta and get it popping like all the other rest of the artists? I'd be like, yo. Because the culture is built off controversy. And if you ain't trying to deal with the bullshit, you don't have the glitz and glare and glamour mm -hmm. because that's what people are doing is clout. So I have to goddamn create some bullshit so people could pay me yeah, some attention. Yeah, and, 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 and that's really into some bullshit. And it's right, like, it ain't based off of your talent. That's why yeah. I said it's just not based off of talent. It's not like yeah. an R and B artist or a, or a pop star, or a country artist. It's not yeah. that. Hip hop <clears throat> is built off of controversy. And that's why I used to be sad. I said, man, y'all get when I used to be at Def Jam, I'd be like, man, y'all gave this money to Neo. Y'all didn't know if Neo was gonna pop. 
Y'all mm-hmm. just say, okay, Neo writes songs. We think he got yeah. some nice songs. Right. He going to check. Because that lane ain't built off country. But in rap, they want you to go get the shit popping yourself. Or, like, or dance. Or dance. Yeah. You have to make yeah, party like, music. Like, yeah. man, how you think niggas come, niggas from the project, niggas from born homes and shit, got a quarter million, half a million dollar budget to go around to the club? It's like... He ain't yeah. with no real estate agent. Yeah. Like, he yeah. not with no fucking... Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. some old tycoon or some shit.